So I'm here today to tell you, when I got saved, I got saved from being an African-American. Don't call me that. It's not what I am. Now you can be what all you want, but I'm not an African-American. And not only did I get saved and entered out of creation and the Achilles heel of God and into the void of God, well, I should never be lost again. And into the presence of my Lord and my Savior who has trusted me with his word. I no longer am I an African American. Don't call me. Don't expect me to act like you. I'm not one of you. No. Not only am I not an African American, but I'm not a black man. Don't call me that either. I used to be. But can I tell you what it was like when I was a black man, can I tell you, will you let me? When I was a black man, I was a typical black man. I was a card carrying black man. I was a good black man. I, like 70% of all other black men, I deserted my children. I did, that's right. Cause that's what black men do. I walk out house my two little babies yes I did I walked out on them and their mother and I left them to root little pig or die I was a black man I, I was a black man and I thought nothing about how they were going to eat I thought nothing of how she had to toil and what she had to do but a heartache that she experienced when I walked out on our marriage and I closed the door on our relationship and I devoted my children of the experience of their father's voice in the house at night. I was a black man because that's what black men do. They're 70% and growing. It's what black men do. I deserted my children. I was a black man in honor. So when you, don't you ever call me again. Don't you call me a black man because I'm not. When I got saved, when I got saved, I got saved from the black man's mentality. I not only deserted my children, but I lied, smoked weed, snorted coke, when I think about the ounces of marijuana that I have bought and I weighed out over against the clothes I bought for my children or the food I put on the table, there I was a black man, yeah, yeah, breaking off open ounces of marijuana for me and my friends and my whores on the table. And we smoked until we couldn't smoke anymore because I was a black man. But yet I put no food on the table for my children because that's what black men do. And they don't want to hear the truth about who they are. Take your seats. But I recognize I don't want to be a black man. I don't want to be a nigga either, but I don't want to be a black man. I don't want to be African American. I don't want to be one of y'all. I'm gonna slap him in the face with the unexpected. unexpected I told God. Unexpected. I told God. I said to my Lord, when I came to my senses, I said, Lord, what can I do? It's too late now for my children. It's too late. It's too late, Lord. The hunger that they felt because I wasn't there to provide for them, they're never going to forget it. Though they get great meals now, they're never going to forget that hunger. And my wife at that time, she's never going to ever trust another man again. In her innocence, she trusted me. And in her innocence, she brought forth children for me. But I was a black man, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. 
get loud. And in that, I walked out and deserted her and my own children. And so, I would say to the Lord, what can erase this pain? What can wipe away my sin? I can't go back and undo those hungry nights. I can't go back and undo that loneliness that my wife at the time felt. I can't go back. I, I can't. I can't go back and deal with all the things that was in her heart. What can I do to wipe away my sin? Can I give my right arm? Can I? If I cut off my, and I'll give it. Oh, I'll give it. Because I'm in pain. I'm hurting. Lord, I'm hurting. Lord, I'm hurting. I was a black man. I listened to black people. I listened to black preachers. I listened to black politicians. I was a black man. But I'm hurting, Lord, I'm hurting. What can I do to get this hurt off of me? What can I do? What can I do? Oh, what can I do? I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Will you want my right arm? I'll give it. No problem. Cut it off. Take it now. Take it now. I'll give it. If it will ease my pain. Because I was a black man. Yeah. Sure I was. I was a black man. Well, give my arm. And so the Lord said, no, that won't do it. I won't do it. Well, Lord, what about if I give my pride? Because we're moving now from flesh and blood to spiritual things. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. Say it loud. I know the word is proud, but say it loud. And I got black pride. I got black unity. I got black unity. I'm proud to be black. I'm proud to have a fro. I'm proud to be a black man. I was. Can I give it back? Okay, you, you want to take my pride? Lord, here, I tell you what I'll do. You don't want my arm, but I'm still hurting. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I said, I'm hurting in here, Lord. I'm hurting inside. I'm hurting deep inside because I used to be a black man. I used to be an African American. I'm hurting inside. I'm hurting now that I found the truth. I'm hurting, Lord. What can you do for me? And I surrender my pride. I tell you what. Lord, I could not have eaten for seven days and walk into a king's banquet. And rather than them inviting me to the table, they push me to a closet and give me some day old bread, just a crust of it. I'll eat it and I will not be offended. Ah, Lord, my pride, I'll give it to you. I'll give it, I wanna get, if, well, if I can, if I give up my pride, Will it exercise this hurt that I feel when I was once a black man? What I did when I was once a black man, I was a black man. I was a soul brother. I was a member of the NAACP. I was a worshiper of the Urban League. I was a black man. What can I do? What can I do? But that wouldn't do it either. The Lord, his name is Jesus, told me the only thing that would help me is that I had to give my life. My arm was not enough. My pride was not enough. I had to give him my life and then he had to throw it away and then move me back to the void beyond creation and glory. It's what God did for me.